Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial on NURAC. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the media processor capability of NURAC, uh, new functionality which have been added to uh, the NURAC application. We are inside AUM, let's uh, create an audio channel and let's create also a media channel. You can, uh, let's add as an audio unit extension, the electric vintage. I definitely recommend this is a great synth from Apesoft. Now let's choose as a MIDI processor, new rack, and let's search for it. And here we are, new rack effect MIDI processor. Let's establish the connection. So we click on the left hand side here and we choose as a MIDI source, new rack FX MIDI processor. Okay, now let's open up a new rack extending it let's click on the edit mode here and let's click on the plus sign and now we can select midi under midi we have a number of uh, new midi modules let's start uh, going through the midi randomizer which is quite interesting so add, as the name says it actually allows you to generate random notes so you have controls such as the clock unit based on subdivision of the transport controls bit um, in this case, let's set these to one eighth. You can set the range between, uh, in this case, C3 and C5. Let's uh, increase the lower range, for example, to be from uh, C4. I want more higher notes. We can set the percentage of randomness and the velocity. Uh, the same on the gate length. And then we can choose a key and also a, a scale. So let's choose, for example, as a scale Aeolian minor and let's click play so just to be very clear new rack now can be run as a media processor in this case in this case I've added a, a randomizer module which is randomizing nodes based on the set of parameters and is driving the for the electric vintage audio instance now let's make it more interesting let's explore other modules let's click on the plus sign again midi and let's add the midi harmony module this module again very interesting it allows you to generate additional notes you can for example select the pitch in semitone let's say three semitones the percentage as well as on velocity the key and the scale as well as in the pre um, in the previous module so let's set the key and the scale in this in similar way so we have uh, the right harmony so let's select these as aeolian minor and let's click play Great, fantastic. And let me give you a further example what you can do now with the new capability of new rack as a MIDI processor. Let's add another audio channel. Let's uh, um, search for, um, yeah, the audio kit base 808, another great um, synth. And uh, let's choose, for example, uh, another base. Um, why not? Let's choose, for example, the upright bass. Let's decrease a little bit of volume. Normally it's quite high. Then let's choose uh, um, another MIDI channel. Let's create another MIDI channel. Let's bring up again a new rack as a MIDI processor. Establish the connection so that the MIDI and the new version of new rack becomes the MIDI source for uh, the audio kit bass 808. And let's uh, enter the a new new rack MIDI processor instance. Let's go in, in edit mode and let's do uh, let's add another randomizer. This time again same scale, um, Aeolian minor. Um, the unit let's set them to half and the the length to 100 and the velocity probably a little bit lower than 100 and let's lower the range. So for example, let's go down to. Uh, C2 and maximum to uh, be flat free probably. Oh, yeah. Right, and let's click play. Okay. 
perfect so but it doesn't end here so let's for example add an effect to electric vintage and let's use new rack again for that effect so let's add new rack this time let's add midi effect okay and then what we are also going to do is we're going to add another instance of new rack as a midi processor and um, like so this instance is instant m202 so let's establish the link here and the reason is that uh, this instance of the of new rack as a MIDI processor will be the MIDI source into this new rack instance as a MIDI effect processor um, for electric vintage. So what we are going to do now is we open this new instance of new rack as a MIDI processor. We're going in edit mode and add. Yes, we can also add a mixer which can be used as MIDI mapping, which again and other fantastic features in new rack so let's leave that open let's go inside now uh, the midi effect new rack instance and let's load something uh, from the preset for example the <coughs> i don't know the audio gate um like so really nice and let's click on um uh, sorry on the edit mode let's click on the mix control here and let's go to the option and now you can see you have a media mapping option you click on it and if you click on program and you click and learn now and if we move this slider you will learn and associate this slider um, as a program changes to this mixer control you remember to click save and when we have done that we can exit uh, remove the edit mode go in browsing mode or performance mode and now as we move the slider the mixer will go up and down so we have created uh, the appropriate uh, connection why this is important because we can have a performance live and as that performance is being played we can change from the mixer different controls in different effects which again opens a lot of other possibility <music> As you can see I changed the percentage of gate length I put it to the maximum so that you can hear better when I was uh, moving up the slider the differences in the uh, different values map against the mix knob as you can see there are a lot of other possibility a lot of other modules there are for example modules where you can control uh, the velocity and there is an interesting module which is also uh, a monitor so let me show you this one uh, in relation to the randomizer so let's put these at the end let's click on the plus sign midi and let's click on the monitor and let's click play and it will show you all the uh, midi event <music> As you can see and you can clear the log as well and start again so i'm going to stop here hopefully this is a, a nice introduction a nice overview of how you can use new rack now as a midi processor in this case inside aum enjoy see you next time bye